So what have we been doing this morning? We've been looking for a place to live. Have we had any luck? I think so. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were driving around neighborhoods and... Uh, Just kind of eyeing out. We're in the Ava Beach area. Yeah, Capilay. So we spent the morning driving to each of the places on our list and getting a feel for the neighborhood. A couple of the places we've said uh, no. Yeah, no. but one of the first apartments we went to was uh, Oasis, Oasis townhomes. townhomes. Yeah, and I that did. was in Waipahu. Yeah, it just it just wasn't no. just wasn't our thing. It's, it's not yeah. it's not a that, good neighborhood not a, for not, not to be in. I need to be, be able to feel safe if I want to go out for a walk. Yeah, and that place didn't. There was another place that was up in Makakilo, which is on a hill, Way overlooking up on hill. <laughs> everything. Great views, but it was a very cramped. Um, yeah. Area. Uh, with the other options we have on our list, we kind of scratch that one off too, so. And it's not bad to narrow it down a little more. No, no. We're gonna go and get some lunch, and yep. then two o'clock we have our first appointment with one of the places that we're most interested in, that yeah. we kind of have the yeah. highest hopes in. Capilina Beach Homes. Um, yeah. And so we'll be recording that when we're, mm -hmm. when we're touring. Yep. So, we'll be back shortly. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> And the pool's open till 9? Um, this is 9 p.m. We offer lots of Monday, Wednesday, Friday, from 5 to 7. Okay. We have two restaurants on property. Uh, this is one of them, it's Hazard Lish. They're open Saturdays and Sundays from cool. 12 to 4. Okay. Uh, so, this is a calendar of what goes on in um, the community. Um, when you kind of write something really good to look at, we try to have an event uh, for our residents at least once a month. Mm. We just had our Halloween carnival, and then we had our Oktoberfest as well. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, so yeah, something good to look at. We, there's also classes here, you know, science. Trace, it looks like there's some um, workout classes. Yeah, yeah. Cool. something going on pretty much every day. Nice. So uh, this is the two different sections. To our right is our fitness and event. Oh, wow. Look at the size of this. Oh. On that list, right there, uh, we have a we have uh, peanut oh. eggs, Did yoga, you really? yoga, yeah. On that projector screen, it was huh. shown on there. It's kind of like your virtual class. Wow. Uh, awesome. And all the equipment is for your use as well. And right behind us is our lagoon. If we have a track around the lagoon. It's about up to two miles. Okay. Oh, watch your <laughs> um, We also, do you guys like to fish? He does. Okay, so <laughs> we do, we do uh, allow fishing alongside the lagoon, on the bridge, and as well at on the beach. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. Cool. Awesome. And on this patio, you know, some people do yoga, they stretch out. Nice. Cool. For for residents, first come, first serve. Hmm. As well as the table in the Hmm. Oh, that's nice. This would be a nice place to just hang out. Yeah. Um, our beach is up to a mile long. Um, to our right, the Big Cabana would be 150 for the whole day to rent out if you want to throw a beach party. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, the beach chairs, the small cabanas, um, the picnic benches, and as well as the barbecue grills are first come first serve for our residents. Okay. And no one outside of the community has access, right? Um, yes, they do for the beach. Our beach is public. Oh, it is. Oh, interesting. Okay. Right. Okay. Access beach. <laughs> to, to our right is our second restaurant on the property. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, it's hot to dish. It's the same thing as the one on the full side. Oh, the tree uh, is gorgeous. Okay. So we're, we're open uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. So is it like more concessions? Um, brunch, dinner, uh, um, alcohol, beverages, and beverages as well. And on this open field right here, we try to have our events for our residents oh, there. Okay. Uh, do keep in mind, we are next to the Honolulu Airport, so we will have yeah. over We read traffic. the reviews. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Plane traffic. Which it's, it's actually really cool because you can actually see the planes take off from right here, yeah. the runways there. Yeah, see, I, I don't look at it necessarily as a downside because yeah. I, okay. I like aviation, so. Okay. <laughs> So single carport, second vehicle, either parks on the road or behind. Uh, yeah, so you can have a ca uh, car in the carport and then one behind and then you have street parking as well. You have shoot? Uh, street, street parking. parking. Oh, street parking. Yeah. 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 This is a really big property. 
Which size is this one? Uh, this is a 1220. Okay. And this is a three bedroom and two bath. Okay. Go ahead. Right ahead. Now, how typical is this? I mean, are all the units like the same configuration same. in terms of like, like you know, the, the wall covering ones. and floor covering? Um, yes, it, it, it is. Uh, it's just some of them are partially renovated and some are. Okay. Are partially renovated and some are renovated. Okay. Mm. So whenever it's partially renovated, what does that mean? Um, it's with the, the, the color of the floors, it could mean um, the, the counter, the color, as well as the cabinets, and then sometimes some of them don't have this. So can we, or the, I guess the fully renovated ones then have all this yes. done? Yes. And I um, guess the price reflects whether it's fully renovated yes, or not. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. correct. Um, with it does come with standard appliances. Uh, so you have your gas stove. Well, this is for gas stove for the flat homes. Mm -hmm. uh, gas okay. stove, fridge, dishwasher, washer, and dryer as well. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a closet area, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, so charge right there. Okay, bathroom number one. Oh, check out the light switch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so this is the yeah. Okay, so that's the shower yeah, area. Okay. okay. Some shower. Is this the, let's see, that's is it like a designated oh, master or is it, this is oh, this is the master, yes, okay, because it has the fancy bed <laughs> in the big closet. And so there'd be room for the king. Because yes, it'd be plenty big for. My other piece of furniture can maybe go here. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So more storage there. there. The bathroom, and okay. Bathroom, so the stand up shelf. Mm -hmm. A little, little thing of teak down there. Come down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Is there a crack up? <laughs> <laughs> so, in general, like, this is a nice big space between us and our backyard neighbors, yeah. and then this side, this is the, this is a single. So if we were interested in a single, would we generally have this kind of space around us? Um, for a single family home? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, it's open, so right. yeah, you'll still have that space. Okay. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're back at our hotel. <laughs> um, you're going to hear a lot of street noise. We're out on the balcony overlooking the Pacific Ocean, actually. And, and like he is a little is a little noisy. Even though we're on the 30th floor, there Go is figure. still a lot of road noise that comes yes. up, bouncing off the buildings. And some, uh, I guess, uh, folks on, oh, on, strike on strike at one at of the, the hotels, hotels down, yeah. down the road a bit, um, who, are, who are making life very interesting for the, the guests at the uh, hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so zone. anyways, we're back here after our tour of the Capolina Beach Homes. And, yeah, and a drive around some other areas where we're going to be looking at houses later this week. And um, I guess the bottom line is that we're a little disappointed. Yeah, um, I mean, the, the the beach area of Capelina is great. It has like almost a mile of its, well, um, it, it's, yeah. I guess Was it's it, public yeah. beach, but it's really just kind of wrapped around the community. Um, and it's not like it was, it was bad. It's just, I guess, it's a gray star community, and we're already in a gray star community. And I think we had, we had higher expectations for the units. Yeah, I, I guess 
the amenities are on par and even better yeah. with what we've experienced where we are now. Yeah, the amenities are very nice. Let the bus pass by. <laughs> <laughs> Huge fitness center. Yeah. Beautiful pool area with lounging area. Um, beautiful community areas. The units themselves, this is a, a military housing community that was built in the 50s. Right. And even though Graystar has done some renovations, some of them are fully renovated, some of them are partially renovated, but it's still obvious that it's an old military Right, community. right. And, and, the, and the, the units, there, there are some that are single family homes, there are some that are adjoining units. Um, and, and they're old, they're old, and and they and they've done they've done some cosmetic updating again, like flooring, some of the appliances and so on. But like you know, the the light switches are these strange up down, um, like not a flip up, but slide yeah, but, but up slide and slide up and down switches that uh, again are prob probably date from the original construction. Um, and, and, and things like that. And, um, and these are homes with thin walls. They don't have any insulation. Right, right. Um, and no insulation in the attic. And there's either. only some window AC units, and not even all units have window AC. Um, if you if there aren't and you want ones, they can come and install them. No, you have to buy them. You have to, you buy, have to them buy them themselves. Them. Yeah, certain, certain ones that you that are recommended. So. And I think the. The kind of overarching factor for me is that there's no standard of upkeep, I guess, yeah, in the individual units. So, right. like, like the the community is responsible for the yard work. That's fine, yeah. but these are open carports, and some of them are just stashed full of junk. Packed full of junk. Just packed full. Some of them have junk in the yards. And some of them are very nicely kept and very, right. very well but it's, presented. It's, but it's very uneven. You know, you'll go down the street and you'll see some units that are, are you know, wonderfully kept up and, and decorated and so on on the outside, um, and others that are just trash heaps. Um, and, and you so don't know who you're going to live next to, basically. Right. So it was, that was kind of... Which is true of anywhere you live, but... Well, well any... any homeowner community that doesn't have a homeowner's home association, that can happen. But again, we're, we're kind of spoiled where we are now, and that kind of thing isn't allowed. I mean, you're Yeah, the management to, is very, very yeah, on cause, top of Because all the units have, like, you know, relatively small balconies, but you're not allowed to keep a bunch of crap there. Um, yeah. If it looks crappy, they make you fix it. Um, so that so was basically, kind of this was kind of our number one, what we thought would be our number one right. choice, um, and it's fallen down. So tomorrow we go to see a another place. We have an appointment at 10 a.m. Oh, my believe in Milani. Um, and then we have to make some appointments with the other ones. I've sent emails and I haven't heard back. So that in itself, and the, yeah. these other ones are all property managed, property manager managed. <laughs> yeah, Either single family homes or, or townhomes town home or something, something of that sort. Yeah. So I'll be making phone calls tonight and tomorrow morning and get, getting some appointments set up. But. This is where we are right now. Yeah, so we, so we haven't kept any beach homes. We, we haven't scratched it off our list, but it's, it's definitely been knocked out of our, our number one position, pending you know, whatever else we may see. And then we saw some, the, home, the other homes that we looked at that we drove by, um, that were in the general Eva Beach area, um, some of those, at least on the outside, yeah. and the communities that they were in, yeah, were really, really right. nice. So, so, so we so have we'll hopes see. that some of those will fit the bill, but we shall see. So, For now, this is where we are. We're going to go get some dinner and just enjoy Waikiki tonight. Toodles. Have a great bye day. Bye.